Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Nikki here and I am going to trial a new way of doing these Roxy of Jur Roxy's Journal of Stitchery videos in that I'm going to do them in little snapshot pieces rather than a big long video watching me do very basic stitching because this first bit you'll see I've just done nothing fancy. So hopefully you might enjoy this style. It'll make it quick and easy for all of us. So as you can see here, I've cut little tiles out. They are going to be my path because I have decided I definitely want a path. And I've just used a single strand of this DMC thread just to simply tack them down. And even though I know they may fray a little bit, I think once you move past each section and you're not handling that as much as you obviously do when you're working on that particular frame, it should be fine. So the next thing I did was I want to do a big wattle branch. So I grabbed this DMC wool that I had in my stash and I used a single full strand to do the main trunk. Then I cut off little bits. I actually split them in half. So I had two little strands of each, tucked it in underneath the main branch and then just catch those down. I thought it mightn't work though. They might fall out and it might all get messy, but it actually worked beautifully. So I was very happy with that. And I obviously just tried to pick the two colours that were as close as possible to each other so that the couch stitches aren't too obvious. So that was nice and easy and that worked out better than I planned. And of course, I am going to try and give mine a bit of an Australiana theme. So that's of course why I picked the wattle. Here I thought, so the next bit here is we need some leaves. I just used a very sharp pencil to lightly trace out the shapes just to give me a little bit of a guideline and then did simple straight stitches working from out from the outer edge of the leaf into the middle because I had a little I drew a little bit up the middle they're not perfect they're almost a bit wonky but that's okay um they're leaves they're green I'm happy with that then of course we had to uh add some wattle flowers all I did here was lots of French knots. I did some with four strands and some with two, just to give them a little bit of dimension. But honestly, it's nothing more than lots of French knots. But that to me is the easiest way to sort of do little wattle flowers. And I made them all sort of, you know, different numbers of French knots in each one because nature can be a bit like that little bit haphazard you never know what you're going to get so very happy with that then you saw um if you watch my first video on this one I dyed I water with some watercolor this little bit of muslin stuff um decided I want it to look a little bit grungier so I attacked it with some watercolor paint and then I'm just pinning it down here trying to help me figure out how much to scrunch it up as I am sewing it down. So I thought if I sort of pin where I want it to go, then pin it in the middle, it just sort of helps me work out how much to scrunch it. And then I just grabbed um, a single strand of normal sewing cotton. And what I did, I just pinched little bits together very roughly haphazardly because I didn't want it to look super smooth and perfect and I just tacked that down and worked out fine of course then I decided I needed a few pebbles so I went through my bead stash and I couldn't believe I had virtually no brown beads but I found a few and some of them are sort of a bit bronze but look honestly it doesn't make any difference and then a few little white flowers I decided to add in down in that left hand corner they're just simple daisy stitches and then I went a little bit ballistic I used a couple of pre-made flowers that I cut out of a piece of sari fabric I did some wool embroidery I used I split the wool 
a DMC wool down to a single strand to do these round ones. I did some daisy lazy daisy stitches to do the pale pink ones i look honestly what i did i have a whole bag of leftover fabric um, thread scraps that i have collected doing this project so i just grabbed something out of there and went oh look let's make some flowers so now it's time to move on i need to do some more background because i've run out of space and i grabbed a scrap out of my collection attacked it with some watercolor paint i want to do an old country farm rustic type gate so i'm just going to cut up some strips and i'm going to pop that down there and if all goes well i'm going to attempt maybe to put a little sheep next to my fence or something like that something that you might find sort of on a farm or out in the country so that's that's it we're all done thanks for watching see you next time bye for now